I'm so excited for class. I'm not. It's test time. I love tests, especially when it's art. Ooh, Claire's keen. I'll do a self-portrait. I'll start with the outline, and then I'll color it in. I'll draw at different angles to give the hair texture. This is gonna be so good. This color is perfect for skin tone. Then I'll add details to the clothes. I'll use a white pen to color the eyes. It just makes it look better. Can you do me? Of course I can. Don't move. I'll just follow the same process. I've really nailed the hair. Now it's time to color it in. You're gonna be so happy with this, Leo. It'll be like looking in a mirror. I'll give you some colorful clothes. This is making me happy. Almost done. There you go. Whoa, I love it. Huh? They're ours! Stay back! What? What are you doing? No! You're tearing it! What have you done? What? What's happening? Ugh, sorry, you scared me. It's a drawing challenge. Okay. You really suit that look, Claire. I love your lipstick. I could watch you all day. Uh, are you feeling okay? Hmm. You want us to do something symmetrical? I need to impress Claire. How's this for a makeover? You look weird. Oh, I have an idea. Look at that. It's given me a great idea. I'll need these scissors. I'll fold a piece of paper. And then cut a small section from it. I'll fold the paper over and start drawing. I'm gonna draw a blue monster. But I want to do it over the fold. Now I'll open the paper up. And I'll draw in the blank space. I'm gonna draw a human face. Then the body. I'll add some small details. Just like this. Now for the fun part. This is gonna be like the inside of the head. I want it to look like he's stretching. I'll obviously need blue ink. And then flesh-colored ink. I'll use yellow for the crown. This is looking great. I just need to color the last few parts. And I'm finished. If I fold the paper over, it looks like a normal drawing. But it's hiding a surprise. Okay, it's my turn. I'm gonna fold the paper over. And I'll draw a love heart. Then I can color it in. I'm using red, obviously. I just need to stay in the lines. Hmm, these gloves feel nice. Once that's done, I can open the paper up. I've sketched a cute couple kissing inside. I like to pretend it's Claire and me. I'll go over the pencil with black ink. I just need to follow the lines. Then I'll add color. I'll give the girl black hair. It's supposed to be Claire after all. I hope she takes the hint. I want it to be perfect. This will be my love letter to her. It looks just like us. Look how happy we are. I'm such a romantic at heart. I can't forget about the mini love heart. That's it! It's so adorable! Just like Claire. It makes me all warm and fuzzy inside. Look what I've got. Watch this, Claire. I think I'm gonna throw up. Maybe we could reenact it sometime? Have a look at this. Aw, that's nice. Ah! Make it stop! Phew, it's over. Ah! I could do this all day. See? Even Thing is laughing. Okay, that's enough. Why? Why would you do that? Come on, I've gotta win! Wait. Look! I won! Seriously? You got a problem with that? Look, Claire. I think they're falling in love. It's beautiful. I hate it. Wait, something's happening. He got dumped. Ooh, a free flower. It smells amazing. Like a summer's meadow. Is this the next challenge? Claire, I want you to have this. Get it out of here. Not a fan of flowers, huh? Only when they're on a grave. Now can I get on with my drawing? She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. 
Can you keep it down? I think I'll start with a love heart. Then I'll draw triangles inside. Then I'll draw a loop around the bottom of the heart. It's transformed into a rose. Now I'll draw the leaves. And finally, the stem. I'll use a pencil to add shading. But this rose isn't gonna be red or pink. It's gonna be black. It's the best color. I'll apply more pressure when coloring the outer petals. This will make them darker. She loves me not! Wait! She loves me! It's a sign from the universe! We're supposed to be together! Wow, that gives me an idea! I'll be right back! She loves me not! She loves me! I want that rose! True love depends on it! Wow! Take it, buddy! This is just what I need! And this is what I need! Woohoo! Okay, just relax. Ahem. <clears throat> Claire? What is it now? This is for you. Hmm. Let me see it. It's pretty. She likes it! Mmm, nom, 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 nom. delicious. I'm done with this. Uh, okay. You wanna see our drawings? Here you go. It's black. Like my heart. I didn't do anything. I guess that's fair. Meh. Like I care. Kiss me, Claire! Never give up. Get out of here. Aw, you're mean. What's it doing? I'm so confused. I think it's supposed to be a shadow puppet. Ooh, I love those! It's tragic. That's what it is. Nope. It's not any clearer. It's a dog. Why didn't you say so? Hey, Claire, look! Trick shot! Pretty cool, huh? I know she's impressed. I'm really not. Let's get this over with. What's he doing? I'm gonna draw around my hand! Please stop talking. I'll show you! I'll place my hand on the paper like this. Then I'll draw around it. It won't look much to begin with, but just wait until I add the details. I'll start with an eye. And then a cute little nose. I'll fill it in black. And I'll do the same with the other eye. And I'll do the same with the eye. I'll leave a small white dot. That'll be the light reflection. Then it's time for the fur. And it'll need a collar. We don't want it getting lost. Please stop singing. I'll only sing louder! It's so bad. Drawing a little doggy. I can't take it anymore. You're making me so mad. I'll crush you. Each note is piercing my brain. Make it stop! Ugh. Look at what you've made me do. Hold on. I think I can work with this. I'll start by spreading the chalk dust out. You know, that feels good. It's pretty soothing. I can feel the tension melting away. I'll draw an upside down love heart, then two small circles, and a triangle. It's already looking like a dog. These will be the ears. I'll give my dog brown fur. This is the easy part. I just need to stay within the lines. I wish every drawing could be like this. It's almost done. Now for a big red tongue. I wish I had a dog. It would be my best friend. We could go for walks all the time. I better focus on what I'm doing. I think I'm done! It looks pretty good. No, it doesn't. Come on. I have to win this round. I used my hand as a template. Can you see the resemblance? I can't pick mine up. Yes! I won! I'm the greatest! Nah, nah. Don't push it, Leo. Oops, sorry. Ugh, I'm so angry. What's next? What do you think it is? Sorry for asking. Look, a pretty butterfly. Wow, it's so magical. I wish there was a spider web. Something's about to happen. Thing is catching the butterfly. Is it okay? I hope not. So we have to draw a butterfly? It's so exciting! Stop it. Let's go! I think that's my paper. Huh? Oh, okay. Come on, hand it over. What? No swapping? Listen to the hand. You don't want to mess with it. Hmm. I have an idea. I have a butterfly stencil! Whatever. I'll need my chalk. I'll use the knife to create shavings. And I mix up the colors. I'll work my way across the page. I'll make a rough outline initially. I know this is a little bright and colorful for me, but it'll be over soon. This is the last color I need. Now I need to get my finger dirty. 
I'll smudge the chalk dust and start to create a butterfly. Then I'll place the stencil on top. That looks about right. Did you really think I wouldn't use black in this drawing? I'll shave the chalk over the stencil. I'll cover the whole page with it. Then I'll smudge it with my finger. It's gonna give a great effect. I'll take my time around the stencil. I'll use my other hand to hold it in place. I don't want to ruin it now. Now I can remove the stencil. But I'm not finished yet. I'll draw something inside the butterfly. It's a tranquil landscape. My turn! I'll place the stencil on the paper. And then I'll draw lines with chalk. I'll work in sections. And then switch colors. I'll do this all the way around. It's gonna look great! I'll go over the chalk. I want it to look so vibrant. I'll hold on the stencil the whole time. One slip and my drawing's ruined. Now I can remove the stencil. Look, it's flying away! It can go here. Now I'll draw a dotted line in the blank space. It'll be the trail of the butterfly. It's so colorful! Just like a butterfly! Here's my drawing. You better like it. Look, Claire! It's a tie! We're both winners! That makes me so happy! Whoa! Look at that! Beat it! I'll repel you with my dance moves! Ooh, nice moves, Claire! I guess we're creating a rainbow. I love rainbows! Nope. That's not gonna happen. Anything but that. I can't wait to get started. I'll need my gloves. Things are gonna get messy. I'm gonna keep it simple. Huh? Why are you so animated? What's wrong with a black pen? Get out of the way! I mean it! Stop it! This is getting annoying! You're gonna regret this. I didn't want to do this. But it's your own fault. Don't look at me like that. I warned you. Maybe I can get started now. I'll draw a large cloud. That's just what I want. Now I'll hold it above my head. Ah. That's good. I'm gonna enjoy this. I'll cover the page with different colored paint. Then I'll take this love heart puppet. And I'll press it into the paint. I want to make sure it's covered. Then I'll peel it off. Now I can place it onto the canvas. I've covered the canvas in tape, except for the heart. I don't want to mess it up. Now I can lift it off. It's good, but it's not finished. I'll run a brush over it. Wow! Look at that! It gives a great effect! I'll do the rest. I've dipped a toothbrush in white paint. I'll flick it over the heart. Next, I'll dip the base of a glass in white paint. And I'll press a glass in the center. Once it's dry, I can paint a tree on it. Hmm. I'll add some birds. It definitely needed something else. Now I can finish the tree. I'll use the toothbrush for this. It gives the impression of leaves. It's done! I can peel the tape off the canvas. Wow. This is a work of art. I love it! Uh, do you need an umbrella? I'm not finished. That's more like it. You need help. Pick me! Yes! I knew it! I win! Look, Claire. Ow! Let's mm -hmm. spin the wheel. I want you to draw a blonde girl. A blonde girl? This is tricky. Hold on. I think I know. Uh, Lizzie? Okay, okay. I'll be your model. Great. Don't move. What are you doing? Trust me, I know what I'm doing. I'll draw an outline of your face. Just stay still. Mmm, this is tricky. You've got green eyes, right? Ooh, this is a lovely shade of lipstick. And I'm done. Wow. It's so good! I've really captured your essence! Are you kidding me? Do I really look like that? I obviously need to put on more makeup! I'm so talented! I should draw portraits for a living! Phew. That feels better. Hmm. Wait a second. I have an idea! Hey! Struggling artist! Get in here! Please don't call me that. My name is Jeff. Let's get this over with. Yes. Yes, I'm inspired. Behold my creation. Oh wow, thanks! But I still need to color it. I'm not gonna use paint. I'll start by placing a stencil over the drawing. And then, I need my makeup and a small palette knife. I'll use the palette knife to scrape the makeup. I want to form a powder. I'll do the same on the other shades. I don't need a lot. Then I'll sprinkle it over the stencil. I'll let the colors mix. And use my hand to smear them. It creates a great effect! 
looks so cool! Wow! I'm so happy with it! Really? You think that's art? Mm -hmm. I guess we'll soon find <laughs> out! Huh? Oh, right. That is nightmare fuel, Naomi. But at least you tried. Lizzie, so colorful and imaginative. Are you seeing this? Lizzie wins! Yes! I knew it! I thought it was supposed to be a blonde girl? Well, now what? Hello up there? Oh, of course. The next round is origami. Pew! Origami? Okay. Good thing I carry paper with me at all times. Just kidding, my butler gave it to me. I prefer paper that's actually worth something. And gold's even better. Here you go. Whoa. Is that real? I'd better get to work. Alright, here goes nothing. Things are getting hot in here. Whoa! It turned to gold! But why stop there? In you go! Phew! Oh gosh! Yep, it definitely worked! Fantastic! Mwah! Miss Betty? Thanks, chef. That's so unfair! I wonder if I have some paper lying around. It's not gold, but it'll do. Ready to witness some magic, guys? Yikes! That paper is so wrinkled! Hilarious, I know! But I can turn things around! Just can't leave it on too long. Good as new! Whatever. I've got other things to worry about. Just a few careful folds, and this will look anything like a piece of paper. Now just draw a couple of marks here. It looks strange now, but it'll all make sense at the end. Recognize it yet? It's only the prettiest girl in the world! Huh? Just be patient, will you? I just have a few more lines here. Now for the same thing on this side. Just keep folding flats up and drawing in the blanks. There. All done. If you say <laughs> so. Color, please. Now she can dance. See? I can make all her limbs move. <laughs> I can't compete with that! Or can I? Just make a fold up top, and again in the other direction. And keep going all the way down. Then draw a straight line here. Then keep it going down this way. Then close it so it's a square. Can you tell what it is yet? And in here, draw a little bunny! How cute is this thing, come on! And he needs a little bear friend. Adorable, right? Don't forget to color things in. Orange and blue always pop. Now for our animal friends. The colors really bring them alive. One last thing. Then fold the paper down. Ta-da! All done! This is tough. But that ballerina… You win! Well, what about my cute creation? Prepping for your art project is all part of the process. A messy one at that. Anyway, time to turn this idea into art. First stroke is always the best. Add a little bit of blue here. It's really coming together. Or is it? This is terrible! Nope. Good thing I have lots more paper. Ooh, smooth. This is worse than the first one! Ugh! Come on now, focus! 
You've got to be kidding me. Why can't I paint a stupid flower? All right. Stay calm. Deep breath in. I can do this. I am fully capable. It's go time. Easy. Easy. Shoo! Huh? That was unfortunate. But wait a minute. What an interesting shape! I can work with this! Using your paintbrush in different ways can help you create entirely unique designs. And in my case, petals! Once you've gone all the way around, add some green for the leaves and stems. See how it's all coming together? Careful strokes go a long way. You can even attach these two. It fills out the space quite nicely. I knew I could do it! Whoa! You drew all this on your own? Why don't you have it, Annie? I've got more creating to do. And this time, I'm taking a whole new approach. But don't worry, we're still staying on theme here. See how these strokes make the leaves really come alive? Don't be afraid to take your time with these. You can even make grass, see? But the next part gets a little more complicated. I can use some puffy paints like these to create all new fun textures with a balloon! How satisfying was that? Now use it like a stamp. And you'll get these fun, totally unique flowers. Don't forget this one. Cool, right? Awesome! What do you think? <gasps> David! How did you even come up with that? My secret ingredient! I wanna open it! No way! I don't believe it! Look! What? I don't see anything. Ha! <laughs> you actually fell for that. It's the oldest trick in the book. Huh? Where did it go? If you snooze, you lose. Ooh, paint. This'll be fun. Oh, come on! They vanished! This is so strange. Chris! You stole my paint! I sure did! Now you're in trouble! Stop it! What's the unicorn's problem? This is your next task! Phew! That's heavy! Draw the watermelon! Hmm. I can't do much with these. Hand over the paint! You didn't say the magic word! It's please. It's time to create my masterpiece. Are you using your finger? Art comes from the soul, not the brush. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't have a good feeling about this. I wonder how Chris's painting looks. Uh, what's he doing? Maybe this won't be so bad after all. Don't mind me! How dare you! Hey! Relax, it's just a small amount. I'll move the brush over the dots and create a semicircle. These two colors look like a slice of watermelon. Now for the rest. Hmm, this is making me hungry. All done! Shh, you're putting me off. Hey, time's up. What do you think? Uh, is that a sailboat? Luna wins the watermelon challenge! Whoa! Two in a row! Oh, what a tasty treat! It does look good. Would you like some? Yes, please. This is the best! Huh? That's all I get? I'll cherish it. What do you think we'll be doing next? This paint roller won't work. Get out of here. What's she going on about now? I hope you're ready to create artwork again. Oh gosh. Time for the spinner. Let's see what it's gonna choose. Dance. What a great choice. Dance? Really? How are we gonna make this work? Maybe I just need to get a good perspective. What if I look at it from this angle, maybe? Maybe I should just start by drawing. Ooh, I'm really loving how my ballerina's turning out. Oh shoot! My pencil lead snapped! Now what am I gonna do? Oh, there's a pencil sharpener! That'll do! Let me get my pencil sharpened again so I can get back to my drawing. Better sharpen all the pencils, actually. Might need other colors. 
And I don't want to be caught out with a dull pencil. Phew. Wait a second! Wow! I've got an even better way to finish my drawing now! Look at how pretty this looks around her waist! I think this'll be lovely! This is the last one. And it can go right here. Okay. Now I need to use a black marker to make it darker. There. Let's have this crayon add some skin color. A highlighter will give her some pretty yellow hair. And then a pink crown and a pink leotard. Oh, and ballet slippers, too! I almost forgot about those. I'm done! And I absolutely love her! Oh my! Wow! But what about this angle over here, maybe? Ah! Oh! Oh my, are you okay? Are you injured? Ow! My ankle! I think I twisted it! <laughs> Quick, elevate it! Oh, my sweet, sweet good boy. So handsome. In fact, why don't you two draw him? Now! Oh, it's on! And I'm a doggy expert! It's just a head, body, and four legs. But this looks a little dull, doesn't it? Ugh! Let me try this again. I think bigger's the way to go. Ugh, still bad. Hmm. Nope. Still awful! Go! Oh! Hey! Huh? What? Calm down! Hey, I think I have an idea! I can use my hand as a guide. Because once I have the outline down, I can get creative with all the details. Trust me, this is gonna turn out awesome. See? Now all that's left is some color. And this good boy is giving chocolate brown vibes. Can't forget that pink tongue! A doggy trademark! Ta-da! Like what you see? The resemblance is uncanny. And yours? Uh, Annie? What? <gasps> <gasps> no drawing. That means you've won, Miss Emma. Ooh, these look delicious! Thank you! Chocolate doggies! I'm starting with this one. Looks good. Mmm, so creamy. No fear! <laughs> Calm down, dear. Just take one. Oh, really? <laughs> Thank you. La 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 la. Woohoo! Oh, oops. Sorry, class. What do we have this time? A star. Begin. What's this? Paint supplies. Whatever. Molly can have it. Ooh, look at this! Wow! This must be my lucky day! I'll place a template over the page. And I've coated the brush in different paint. I'll paint over the template. It gives a great effect. Now I'll carefully remove the template. Wow! It's like a rainbow! I love it! That's the best you can do? I need to make a call. Hello? Yeah, I need some help. <clears throat> What's going on here? Draw a star? <laughs> Easy. That's nothing to a professional like me. Watch and learn. Something more challenging would be nice, but what can you do? And I'm done! You can applaud now. I know, I'm talented. Oh, are you finished? Oh. My word. You are a work of art. You are my muse. Oh, you? I could paint you every day. Uh, should I leave? I've never seen such beauty. This is for you. You're so romantic! I feel so inspired when I'm around you. Let's go! Hey, come back! My painting! Aww. Time for the spinner again. Huh. All right, there it goes. It's spinning once more. Looks like it chose a starry sky. I know! Where's the paint? I need to get started! The paint is ready and so is my brush! Time for art! Okay, I'm gonna start with this black color. I wanna paint a streak. Now for a glob of blue right below. And then more globs of purple, blue, white, yellow, and orange. Now I'm just gonna get to brushing the paint from side to side. It's creating a sort of ombre effect. Okay, let me keep going here with the yellow. Great, that looks good. And then I'll do more black down here. I think maybe I want some structures in my skyline, too. 
A little fence is nice. Right by this tree. I don't want bare branches, though. Some dabs will create leaves. Oh, very nice. I guess maybe I should just start and see what happens. Blue it is! And maybe some more blue, too! Yeah! I like all these dark colors. They're fun! All right, paintbrush. You ready to get to work? Whoa! I really love how these brush strokes are turning out! Ooh, look at that paint getting pushed across the canvas! There we go! All the way down to the edge! Whoa! Ah! Paint is getting all over my canvas! <gasps> Wait a second! This looks amazing! Hey, look at my canvas! I'm done with my starry sky! Yes, I can see that. Yours is absolutely delightful! Yes! Thank you so much! You definitely deserve it! Ooh, this is exciting! A unicorn! Hmm, this might be tricky. I'm going for the pens. I don't know, so many options. Paint… Or pens. Pens! I think this is the right choice. Okay, here goes! Oops! My pen slipped! <laughs> Sorry! Oh, it slipped! Okay! You're so immature! Let me help improve your drawing! Don't you do that again! I warned you! I improved it! Oh, you missed a spot! I'll help you color it in! Gah! This is pointless! Take that! Quit it! Stop it! We could do this all day long! Take some more paper! Fine, but I'm facing this way. I'm gonna draw the best unicorn ever! Got it! U. N. I. C. O. R. N. Now I just need to join it up. I'll give it a nice hairstyle. Can't forget the legs. All I have to do now is color it in. Pink will be the perfect color. I think this will win. I wish I had a real unicorn. All that's left is the tail. Done! That was easy. Ta-da! Oh no! Here's my drawing. It's good. Well done. I wonder who won this round. <laughs> well, I'm shocked. Yes! What the prize? Please be a real unicorn. I can live with that. This won't do. Too small. Let me see. Aha! That looks so tasty. Maybe I could try a little piece. She won't notice. This is what I need. Stand back. This is about to get messy. You didn't. Sorry, I tripped down. Uh, landed on the cake. I saved you some. You're unbelievable. I offered. Okay, let's spin this wheel again. Aw, would you look at that. You got dog this time. I know what I'm gonna do. It's in my hat. What? A rubber chicken? Where did this come from? I know it's in here somewhere. Wait, is this what I need? Nah, I don't really play that much anymore. Come on, this hat can't be that big. <clears throat> is that a quarter? Is that what you were looking for? Oh, there's one for me too! Don't mind if I do! Phew! Who knew my hat could hold so many things? Okay, I need this pen. I don't get it. What are you doing with your coin over there? I'm using it as a tracing guide. I need a couple of circles. I don't get it. Wait, I know what to do! I hope you're all working hard over there! Okay, I'm gonna need my hoodie pulled over my head. I'll be right back. Hey there! How about I give you this and you lend me your dog? Thanks! Oh my gosh! Who's a cute little good boy? <sighs> my name is Patrick. Smile! I just need to get a couple of photos of you. You're so cute! You could be a model! Eee! Here you go! Thanks so much! Got my oval colored in except for that circle. I've added those little lines and dots. Now to draw his head. And some eyes, too. He's really starting to come together. Can't forget his ears, of course. A doggy needs his ears. And a body, too. And finally, his tail. Now to color him in. I think his ears need to be a brown color. And his feet and cheeks. Done! Phew! I made it back and no one noticed I was gone. Just gonna finish up right here. <laughs> Teacher, I'm done! Here's my picture of a dog! I'm done, too! Oh my gosh, look at that cute little angel face! You win! She didn't even draw that! Oh, are you waiting on me? Let's spin the wheel. This is so much fun! Okay, a rainbow! I need lots of paint! 
That should be easy enough. It's just drawing a curve. Okay, this is harder than I thought. Ugh! Ugh that didn't go well. Actually, maybe I can use that. I think I've got it! I'll take a strip of paper and fold it like this. Now I'll draw a cute little face. Now for the eyes. I'm liking this so far. I'm feeling so creative! Hey, careful! Oops. It'll probably improve her drawing. Okay, now for some color. I don't want to color the eyes yet. This pink is so bright. I should get nail polish this color. The collar can be yellow. And the eyes can be green. What a happy looking cat! It even has a rainbow smile! I'll show Molly. Boo! It's so funny! Uh, I better clean up the paint Sarah spilled. This is making it worse. Wait. I can use this! What a great idea! I've painted this canvas blue. I can use the sponge to make a white cloud. Now I'll let orange paint run down. I'll do the same with different colors. There! All done! Hey, watch the face! Teacher, look at this! Oh, let me see, Molly. It's so unique and colorful. It's beautiful. Boo! Wow! So playful, Sarah. I'm proud of you both. You deserve a reward. We did amazing, Sarah! All right, we're totally ready to tackle a drawing challenge. I'll spin the wheel and see what you'll be facing. There we go. Oh. How sweet! A heart! Time to draw love! Yay! I love drawing hearts and love stuff! I know what I'm gonna do. I'll start with the word love. Hmm. Wow, that was a great day. She was so beautiful in that meadow. Okay, now to really zazz this picture up. I'll add a little heart and then turn the O into a girl. The V can be another heart, and the E can be the person she likes. So cute! But it needs more color. This heart should be pink. Good. And the little one up here should match too. Okay, now for some more colors. A purple dress. Wow! This is really turning into something special! Time to switch colors. Yellow for their hair. They match! And I think he's wearing a blue hat. Time for some green on his shirt. No, I love you the most. These colored pencils will help give them expressions. Ta-da! All right, students. Let's see your artwork, please. Uh-huh. <gasps> what? Oh, no! Ew. Keep the gum in your mouth, please. Um, what are you doing? Uh, just wait. This is my artwork, I promise. I just need one more moment. Almost done. I'm done! <sighs> there. Here's my artwork showing love. Phew! Whoa! How did you even do that? Amazing! Oh my goodness! That is very impressive! Hi, Marks! Ah, <sighs> What's next? At least all my utensils are ready. Uh-huh. Whatever you say. Yes! Huh? Who's that? Oh! Whoa! Cool! Let's do it! I'm suddenly inspired. And emojis means having fun with shapes. I make a mean circle. Aha! I could use a little extra help. Nothing like a fresh jar of paint. Hey! What's the deal? You don't even care, do you? Wow, she's unbelievable. Psh. Huh. That's interesting. Wait a minute. I'm gonna do this a new way. Get in there, yellow paint. Perfect. Now here's where the fun begins. Fill her up. Ooh, look at them go! Can you guess what I'm making? An emoji, remember? It's definitely different. Hey, Wendy. Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Not sure it can beat this thing. I know, it's awesome. Oh, I wish I thought of that. 
Wow, what a creative challenge! Who do you think was the best artist? Claire or Leo? Let us know in the comments below! Remember to share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more artistic videos just like this one!